Congressman Rufi Biason po ay gusto niya magtanong personally. So, Congressman Rufi Biason, you are now recognized po. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, to my colleagues, good morning, and of course to the Defense uh, Department uh, family, good morning. Um, uh, pasensyaan nyo na lang po, uh, because uh, my support for the AFP, DND is so much so that uh, even if I am a vice chair, I would like to ask some questions which would go down to the support for them. Bottom line is we want uh, to support the AFP, DND with the sufficient uh, resources that they need. So these questions are geared towards that. Um, through the chair, uh, Mr. Secretary, um, what is the sense of the defense establishment regarding the share that it is getting from the BCDA under the basis conversion uh, law? Uh, have, you, have, you been given, have you been given what you believe is a rightful share, a fair share, or a sufficient share? Um, uh, Mr. Chairman, sir. yes, we are receiving our fair share. <clears throat> now, the BCDA law Hindi naman kumo yung mga camps na na-convert na pinagbili o pinag-release. It's not 100% na pupunta sa, sa armed forces or sa defense. Uh, marami pong hati-hati dyan. Uh, I think we are only getting about 20, 20, 25% for sale and 35 for sale of the uh, of the land, real estate, and 50% for in lease, lease. So, Mr. Chairman, we are getting our fair share. Uh, Congressman uh, Rufi Biason. Yes. Uh, you are now recognized. You, you can ask questions. All right. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Um, for the record, you are uh, allocated a 35% share. Is that correct? Uh, through the chair, Mr. Chair, Mr. Secretary. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Ah, okay. Uh, is the, the coverage uh, just for, and, and the coverage is just for Metro Manila uh, military properties. Is that correct, Mr. Chairman? Uh, Secretary uh, Mr. Chairman, I think the uh, BCDA covers major camps, uh, Metro Manila. <laughs> Uh, which uh, are uh, the Port Bonifacio, um, the right. Bilimoril base. Now, Clark uh, was not a camp of the AFP. It belonged to uh, the, um, the U.S. Um, bases, also so big. So, I... Ang tingin ko rito, Mr. Chairman, yung pinagtutuunan ng pansin ngayon ng, uh, ng BCDA ay ito pang mga lupang natitira dito sa Metro Manila at sa Kasaklak and Subic. So, hindi pa po nagagalaw yung mga ibang lupa ng, uh, ng armed forces, lalong-lalo na yung Philippine Army sa ibang uh, lugar. Like, uh, we have also lands in Baguio, in Tarlac, in, uh, in Cebu, and in, uh, in uh, Cagayan de Oro City. Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. Secretary, um, hindi ko pa nakalagay sa batas na yung AFP share ay kukunin lamang dun sa sale ng Metro Manila properties. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Wala kaming share dyan sa Clark kasi hindi naman dyan na uh, mga kampo ng military. Ngayon, ito pong gagawin namin dito sa next uh, round ng ating uh, tatawag ng uh, Department of Finance na monetizing our lands ay uh, baka hindi na BCDA ang mag, ano, yung, imamanage sa lang po ng, ng EFP, lease karamihan mo yan, o lahat na lang siguro ililease para meron tayong um, steady and permanent stream of funds for our modernization alam lalo na yung mga mga lupa natin sa mga probinsya uh, pwede naman po sa batas, there is uh, the um, revised uh, modernization at saka yung BCDA that uh, the armed forces can already uh, manage the leasing of lands so that uh, it can get all the proceeds uh, for itself for uh, modernization. Okay, uh, talking about uh, AFP properties, uh, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Secretary, um, ano po ang position ng AFP DND sa Sangley Point Development in relation to the Navy base that is located in the area? 
Secretary Ren Mr. Chairman, uh, yung pong airport, yung airport diyan, nag uh, used to be yung airstrip diyan. Madating pag-aari ng uh, no, na uh, occupied by the Air Force ay ipinagpalit po ng kaap ibinigay ng Air Force anang uh, kaap sa sa Philippine Air Force yung Lumbia Airport sa Cagayan de Oro. In in uh, exchange po dat kasi gagawin nilang civilian airport niyang ano, yang uh, Sangli. Ngayon, uh, gusto po namin uh, i-retain yung naval base diyan, yung sa Navy. Kasi uh, very strategic yan. Uh, if possible, we do not want to to uh, leave uh, Sangli, especially yung ating naval uh, naval asset diyan sa Sangli. Uh, Congressman Biason. Uh, Congressman Rufi Biason. Yes, um, uh, Mr. Chairman, medyo nag-chopy uh, lang yung uh, uh, signal. If I may pursue on that point, um, so given uh, given that the option, uh, the, the AFP DND would like to retain uh, having a base at the mouth of Manila Bay for strategic purposes. That, is that correct, Mr. Chairman? Uh, Mr. Secretary. Yes, Mr. Chairman, that's what uh, we want. Uh, Mr. Chairman and Mr. Secretary, uh, I'm sure there are other uh, areas in the country where you have bases and properties. Um, how do you feel about reserving them uh, permanently uh, for military strategic purposes? Uh, in other words, yung proteksyonan natin para hindi siya mawala sa ating control no, because of its strategic importance. Um, kasi uh, yung possibility na biglang makonvert yan o maibenta, uh, how does the AFP DND feel about uh, reserving them permanently for uh, national defense and security purposes? Yes, Mr. Secretary. Mr. Chairman, uh, we support that um, suggestion. Actually, that is what we want to retain uh, ownership of these uh, lands all over the country. Sa katunayan po ay uh, ang Philippine Army ang pinakamalaking land owner sa um, forces. It has more than 200,000 hectares all over the country. Uh, may malilit na area, may malalaki katulad ng Fort Magsaysay, <coughs> sa Hamendan, at saka sa, sa Bukid noon. And we would like to retain them as a future uh, utilization of our troops as we expand, uh, Mr. Chairman. Congressman, Mr. Chairman, in the, yes. in the interest of time, I uh, will be cutting short my uh, questions at this point. Uh, may I just make a manifestation as a final statement, Mr. Chairman? Go ahead. Congressman Rufi Biason. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Um, in the past, uh, in, the, in the last six years of my 13-year membership in the House, I have been sponsoring and defending the budget of the Department of National Defense and AFP. So my support for them is, is all out. And uh, based on the questions and the answers given by the Secretary, um, I would like to endorse to the members of this House, this committee, and the House in general, um, some legislation that I have filed um, pursuing the objectives na sinabi po ni Secretary na nais na, na din nilang makita. Una po dito yung uh, pagbigay ng isang batas, no? House Bill 555 na final ko, authorizing the disposal or commercial development of certain military camps and reservations, uh, creating for the purpose the Military Real Estate Development Authority. Yung nabanggit po kanina ni Secretary na outside the BCDA, yung pamamaraan para mag-benefit mag sila from their properties. Another is House Bill 699, amendment, which is an amendment to RA 7227 as amended by RA 7917, na tinataas yung share ng AFP uh, modernization program from 35% to 55%. Para po, at pinapalawak na to cover not just military, Metro Manila military properties, but military properties all over the country. It would really be a big boost to our AFP modernization if they are given these funds. Then finally, House Bill 4304, for the DND, for the, giving the DND the authority to declare certain areas of public domain as strategic for the security and development of the country. Ibig sabihin po, pag pinpoint nila na ang isang lugar ay uh, strategically Yes, it's of strategic importance for defense and security. Hindi lamang ito basta-basta maibebenta o madedevelop for other private or commercial purposes. 
uh, we should give a national security uh, primacy over the commercial conversion of these properties. So with that, Mr. Chairman, I thank you for this uh, opportunity. And of course, to the Secretary of Defense, the Armed Forces of the Philippines, uh, rest assured of this representation support all the way. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and good morning. Hearing suspended.